Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Brook Designs. So as you can see, I've got a cleaned up workspace. So I just got done using up all of the beads in the curated bead box, Pure Passion. Um, so, well, I didn't use all of them. I used most of them. So I'm going to show you everything that I did. First, this is all I have left for beads. So I didn't use a lot of this, these seed beads. I didn't use these um, eyeglass holders. I may try to do something with those um, with some chain and something else um, at another time. Um, and then I had just a random mix. I mean, I probably could have made a couple more bracelets and some earrings out of those. But to be honest, I was stretching, I was stretching my design limits with this one. Um, I like the colors. I loved some of the beads, but I'm not like, I'm not a big red person. So it was really hard for me, red and black. Um, but I will show you what I made. And I know we did this one together. So this is the um, the heart pendant, and I will bring it up to the camera so you ooh, so you can see. Um, we got the pendant. We did the little uh, drop. Those two. I I do like these rose um, links. I wish there was more of them. Um, and then we did the chain, and I added after um, I got done with everything. Some of those made with love tags on a couple of these. I thought those were cute as little jump, as little, you know, tchotchkes on the back. So that was necklace number one. And then I also made a pair of earrings to go with the necklace. So again, I used the links and some beads and made a pair of earrings. Um, next up, we did, I actually used the clamshells, which I was really not sure how I was going to do that. And I think this is a nice, like, like, I don't know, like rugged to me. It feels rugged. Um, but I really like this one. It's, it's dark. I think this would go well if somebody was wearing like a white outfit, white and gray outfit. Um, you know, so that I made the necklace and then I made the bracelet and I ran out of um, extender chain. So I need to get some more. I will probably put extender chains on these, um, but I made the bracelet to go with the necklace. And then I made a cute little pair of shell earrings to go with that. So that becomes a set. And so those are just... The, those um, drizzle beads with one of the shells. Um, also in theme with the black, out of the mix that had all of these weird shaped beads, I took some of the cubes and um, it looks like it's got a little bit of glitter on this, um, kind of a matte finish, but I made a couple of earrings. And then... Going back to the red theme, um, I made another necklace, just, you know, a basic, you know, close to the neck, almost like a choker style necklace with those um, pink beads. I think those were, what, rose quartz? Is that what that was? Yes, rose quartz. So I used the rose quartz and then the bright red beads, and I made that, and I think that's very pretty. Um, I made a couple of memory wire bracelets, one with the rose quartz and just doing groupings of beads around. Um, so that's just going to set on somebody's wrist. Um, because it overlaps, I really didn't feel the need to put a, um, a clasp on that. There's, you know, there's really no need. That's not going to come off. Um, I did that, and then I did this one with some of the beads from those that mix and some of those drop beads. So this one also overlaps, um, could be worn together. So if you, you were to do that, you would have two different bracelets. Um, kind of like, a, it's got like a boho kind of feel to it, to me, especially this one. Um, so I did that. 
And so we have two of those. And then the last bracelet I did was I took some of those eye pins that I had and I just kind of made little sections, little links, and made a bracelet using the links. And then I put one of those Made With Love um, hangers on it. And so that's another bracelet. Then I did a couple of pair of fun earrings with the drop beads, these, these drop beads. And so I did earrings. And so what I did was I took some of the uh, beetle on wire um, and I strung it on and I got one of my big crimp tubes out and I strung it two, two through the crimp tube around the jump ring and back through. Um, and that's why I put the bead cap on there because that's kind of hiding some of the the mess, if you will. But I made two pairs of earrings. Um, and so, yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're springy. They can, they can shape. And so I did those. And then for the last thing, I wanted to do a couple of pairs of earrings, just, you know, f fun little earrings using some of those little, um, disc spacer beads. So I made, you know, silver and red. And then I took some of the other stone beads and made another pair here of um, with the silver and the uh, spacer beads. So I made all together, we have, let's see, one, two, I made three necklaces, four bracelets, and two, three, four, where's my other one? Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of earrings. So all for roughly $20, I made all of this um, from the curated bead box. And um, if you haven't signed up for it, there's a link in the description. You get 35% off using my code. Um, and so, yeah. So anyways, I powered through this in literally a night. Um, and I do, did make a couple of videos. Um, I still have, you know, I, I still have to work on the bargain bead box next, but, um, I, I do like these. I really love this one though. This one's my favorite out of all of these. Um, I think this is just this, this screams, you know, romance, um, to me, but anyways, so that's what I did with the curated bead box, pure passion. Um, hope you enjoyed the videos and I'm on to the next box. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.